For over two decades, AccuWeather meteorologist Tony Lawback has been chasing storms all over the country, but it wasn't until the last couple years when those storms began to include hurricanes. He joins us live from his home near Johnstown, Colorado, to show us his chase of Hurricane Ian one year ago today. Tony? Yeah, Kevin, that was certainly one of the uh, different points of my career, having spent a majority of my time chasing storms across the central plains in landlocked states. Ian was one of the first and certainly one of the most devastating storms I've chased coming off of the waters. Punta Gorda, ground zero for Ian as it roared into the state just shy of a Category 5 intensity, with winds gusting over 120 miles per hour, wreaking havoc on the north side of the storm's eye. This was my first major hurricane eyewall intercept after over 25 years of chasing supercells across the central landlocked states. Hurricane Ian continued on its rampage across Florida, and the following day we watched the outer bands of then Tropical Storm Ian crashing rough surf across the shores of Jacksonville Beach on the East Coast. Heavier rains led to scenes like this in St. Augustine, south of Jacksonville, where storm surge sent water all through town, flooding out streets and neighborhoods alike. But Ian wasn't finished. Gathering strength to again reclaim hurricane status, we followed it up the east coast into South Carolina, where it made its second U.S. landfall here near Georgetown as a Category 1 storm nearly 48 hours after I met it in Florida. Hurricane force winds ripped through the trees, some blocking major routes like here outside Charleston, where crews with chainsaws raced to clear this large tree from Highway 17. In towns along the coast, power lines were brought down by trees which were pushed over in the winds, but worse was the storm surge. Water flooded out areas in several coastal towns. Here in Pawleys Island, south of Myrtle Beach, many streets looked like this, some impassable early, but quickly receding as the storm moved north, eventually bringing the first glimpses of sun and blue skies that I had seen in over two days. One hurricane, two intercepts. And looking back a year later, one of the things that stands out for me on Ian and several of the hurricanes I've chased in the time since then, Kevin, is the duration of these storms being primarily a tornado chaser. A lot of times we're in and out of these scenes within just a couple hours, this lasting over the course of a couple of days. Yeah, such a big difference, Tony. And hey, we appreciate the fact that you're expanding your chasing uh, two hurricanes. Uh, we remember it well from last year, and hopefully it's a little bit quieter uh, for the rest of this year. Thanks a lot, Tony. We'll be looking back at Hurricane Ian throughout the night.